Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the task bar size on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match to come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to do that, it's quite simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double-clicking on the HK Current User folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. Now you want to locate Microsoft, so go ahead and double-click on that. Should be a Windows folder, so go ahead and scroll down and double-click on that. Now you want to locate the current version folder, so double click on that one as well. Should be an explorer folder in here as well, so go ahead and double click on it. And then finally, right underneath explorer, there should be an advanced folder. If you need to pause the video at this time and take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the screen here. Each bank slash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. And now directing our attention over to the right side, you want to go ahead and make this column a little bit bigger by clicking in between the name and the type column to expand it a little bit. And you want to locate an item in here that says taskbar SI. If you don't see one, which I won't blame you if you don't because it's probably not in here, unless you've already followed this tutorial and I just want to modify it, we're going to have to go ahead and create it. So go ahead and right click in a blank area in this folder, select new, and then select the word 32-bit value. Name this value taskbar SI. First letter of both words should be capitalized. No spaces. So again, taskbar SI. T-A-S-K-B-A-R-S-I. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to save that. And now you want to double click on this value. So current value data is always set to zero by default whenever you're creating a new D word or basically any value. It doesn't have to be a D word value. It could be a string value. It's just empty. It could be a string value. It's always empty in here. So anyway, zero is the small size. If you want to set it to zero, it's small. If you want a default taskbar size, you set it to one. So you delete the zero type and type a numerical value of one. If you want a large taskbar size, you want to set it to two. So zero is small, one is normal, and two is large. Base, keep that hexadecimal, select OK. Again, I just said it's the large one because I wanted to give the best demonstration here for today's tutorial, and that'll be the easiest to see. So once you've made that change, you're going to go ahead and close out of everything, and you will need to restart your computer for the change to take effect. So let's go ahead and restart our device here. And if you ever want to undo it, you can always just delete the D word value we created. That's very simple. You don't have to even change it to one. You can just delete that taskbar SI value that we created. And there we go, guys. Simple as that. So pretty straightforward. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.